and I wouldn't have done it, but it was my son. <laughs> In the last few months, 18-year-old McKinley has been through some major life changes. She gave birth, got married, and her husband got diagnosed with cancer. On Christmas Day, he died. The night of the funeral, McKinley says Justin Martin dropped by her home, claiming to be a neighbor just wanting to say hello. Well, it was pitch black outside. You don't introduce yourself that way tonight. Then on New Year's Eve, in the middle of the day, McKinley says Martin returned, this time with another man, Dustin Stewart. She says the two wanted inside. When she wouldn't answer the door, they started to break in. I walked over and got the 12 gauge, went in the bedroom and got the pistol and put the bottle in his mouth and then I called 911. She stayed on the phone with emergency operators for 21 minutes. They said I couldn't shoot him until he came in the door. Finally, McKinley says Martin kicked his way through the door and was coming at her with a 12-inch knife. That's when she fired. You know, it's not an easy, not an easy decision to make, but I knew it was him or it was my son, and it wasn't going to be my son. There's nothing more dangerous than a mother with a child.